good evening friends today i am coming up with another interesting topic to track time sheet on project and its commercial aspect whether it is considered as billable or non billable because typical for any company who uh, you know an information technology or software company who are you know working on customer project or product development they would require you know how they can better management the billability of their client and how much they can earn on that particular project or product development process so here i am enabling in you know i am inside project configuration setting and enabling this time sheet okay inside the project i have created one project that is product development and in settings you can see one setting that is billable invoice your time and material to customer that is the setting i have enabled it okay <clears throat> and here i have included different different tasks task 1 2 3 4 and then set its particular timeline and then uh, you know total <coughs> allocated time right so here in the list view we can see allocated time hours spent and total hours or remaining hours everything okay and hours spent on task allocated time <coughs> or sub task i haven't don't have any sub task so i am disabling that so this is the analysis of task and with stages and how many hours we have logged now if i go to status you can see everything goes under non billability so how i can make it billable so to make any task billable there is field like customer and sales order item so sales order item is nothing but my service type of item which i wanted to make it billable and everything is equally important when you configure your product also right so if i go to project setting <coughs> right or if i go to time sheet and its configuration i will be able to set up billing time like sales service and invoice time spent so over here i have three services so i am focusing on software development services which i said product type is service and invoicing policy is based on time sheet and then i don't want to create any you know uh, new order or nothing on that and i will uh, track it hours on hourly basis and i map like it cost me 10 rupees per hour and the sales price is 40 if i am selling this <coughs> and another important aspect under time sheet configuration is invoicing policy so time sheet taken into account when invoicing your time so i can able to invoice only validated time sheet not the recorded time sheet so that's very important setting inside that so now inside project if i go i can see total 4100 is gone under non billable okay and if i set customer over here then it will load any sales order which is connected with service item so software development service is there as soon as i connect here and go to my time sheet i have spent 12 hours of time and i go to product development and go to search status now you can see 10 hours sold delivered zero invoice zero but here billability comes for those logged hours that is 1100 and how this cost comes so if i go back to product and in task 1 i have developer 1 and a developer has two developers who have spent 10 plus 2 hours totally so if i go and check developer 1 hr setting which is costing me 50 rupees per hour that is first part and then if i go to another developer who is logging time sheet which is costing 100 rupees per hour so in that inside task this will cost 1000 and this will cost 100 because 50 rupees by 2 means 100 and 10 hours multiply by 100 will become 
So if I go here and check my profitability, I can check 1100 rupees I can bill to customer, but I haven't bill anything because I haven't delivered anything to my customer. So how can I make it as delivered? <coughs> now coming back to our setting, I have said only validated hours can be billed to customer. So I simply go to timesheet and check entire timesheet team wise in list view. I will say this 10 plus 2 hours I would like to validate. And then these hours are validated. So if I go back to my project again and check its status, now you can see sold 10 hours, delivered 12 hours, but invoice nothing. So now if I go back and would like to create an invoice, so if I go to timesheet, <coughs> so if I say validated hours, okay, now I can only print this timesheet or I can validate it. Okay, there are no other options planning or analysis or anything. But now if I go back to my sales order and open that sales order where I have sold these services, now you can see 10 sold, 12 delivered. But my policy was build what is delivered and timesheet validated. So if I create an invoice, now it will allow me to bill all 12 hours of services at the price of 4D. So if I say my price is 300 rupees per hour, it will adjust the amount accordingly. And then I can confirm that. So now if I go back to my project and check my analysis, you can see 10 hours sold, 12 hours delivered, 12 hours billed. And now profitability wise, I have built 3600 rupees. And this 3120 and then expected is 480 okay based on sales order okay so because of that there is a difference between my sales order amount and my uh, this billability amount so if i want to go back i cannot edit this all right because i have you know sold my service as 40 rupees and now <coughs> my bill is diff saying different okay because I have increased my price over here. So that's why that is showing different. But now if you can understand very precisely, now task three doesn't belong to anything. If I see the customer three, there is no record. But if I sell something to customer three, and if it is my development service, so let's say I am selling 50 hours, at price of 400 rupees per hour and I confirm and now if I go back to my project and now I can associate this to customer 3 and here I can say so as soon as I go back to my project status now we can see another status also like service item number 10 where I have committed 50 hours delivered 0 invoice 0 okay and then bill to timesheet 3500 based on this my previous billing and non billable is 600 still because I haven't associated any task to any customer or any sales order. So to verify my billability, there has to be a sales order and a customer which is connected with that task. Then only I can see my billability and profitability accordingly. And this cost is nothing but but coming from my staff or employee per hour cost which I have defined on employee HR settings. Okay, now if I go back to my task, now for this task number three, I can see customer and sales order also, like this is customer three. And if I add any timesheet now onwards, because this was old timesheet. And now if I add for developer one, and then log, maybe 20 hours okay and then if I go back to my project status 
you can see there is nothing in delivered because my policy is I have to validate that timesheet. So I am going to validate and then I go back here. Here is customer 3. This 20 hours I will validate and then go back to project and open my project setting and see over here. So now you can see 50 sold, 20 delivered. Build is zero. So still my billability or revenue is not impacted here. So if I go back to my sales order, for this sales, I am creating invoice, a regular invoice, and 20 hours will be billed now to this customer because that is based on my timesheet. So now if I go to my project and then see the status, now you can see 20 hours invoice and my profitability is gone. And you can see whatever task has been built till now. You can see here. And then here I can see the timesheet cost based on the hourly cost my staff has put it over here. 32 hours total that is costing me 4500 based on different developer cost. And that's fine. So here. Uh, you can see the billability and non billability of timesheet based on project, based on sales order, based on customer. You can track, and this is how uh, this particular thing works over here. And then I can also set you know project status okay, on hold, off track, at risk, on track, and then define how I have achieved so far as a project status report. And this is a summary I can get over here in description. Okay. <clears throat> so this is my status of project which will I can send it uh, any message or update over here and then I can see a summary over here also right and I can connect it with my anything or anything in spreadsheet, spreadsheet link also okay to invoice to sales order timesheet and planning everything I can see over here right so this is how billable and non-billable things work in Odoo. Hope this helps many people who are you know, managing simple service-based project, build their customer on hourly basis, or maybe some product development where are, they are getting some enhancement re request from same product from different customer, and then they want to build it uh, separately for specific enhancement over that product. And they can see how profitable that product project is. Thank you very much.